Where did you learn your work ethic? I had um, great parents who were very hands off, actually. Maybe, maybe that was it. Um, they, they left me alone and I sort of reveled in being alone. I liked being alone and exploring things and thinking about things on my own. And I had a wonderful, um, I went to wonderful schools growing up. We moved around, so I went to a bunch of schools, but I, I liked them all. Looking back, it was a situation where they very gently gave me all the right tools. Mm -hmm. um, I found myself surrounded by the tools. And I didn't think about how they got there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, looking looking back, it, it would, I, I guess I would call that hands-off, but really, no, that was as hands-on as, as any other hands-on parent. I think I found my sweet spot, which is I'm a creative person, so I like being creative, but I thrive within structure. Maybe that's a na very natural position for a drummer to find himself in. Right, right. Um, but for me, it's crucial, the, um, the combination, the right balance of creativity and structure. And I think that changes, that's different for every person. For the entrepreneur, what structure? Right. Um, but for somebody who works for an entrepreneur's company, structure is needed. You know, nothing can succeed without structure. It's a combination, and it's something I've seen a lot playing, um, playing music, playing with different artists. Yeah. You see the different levels of creativity of just some some artists have no they're off they fly off their their ideas fly and they let them fly others are more rigid they say we have to we have to stick within these parameters mm -hmm. otherwise it won't work right. come on guys it's very interesting i i i fit in the middle of that and <laughs> i know it's cliche to say i'm very happy being a it's a, it's a rhythm section thing i think yeah, yeah.